it's a new day. It's a new day. And with this new day comes new thoughts, new desires, additions to goals, goal setting, and just work. Today, I go to the gym. So I'm finally getting to go to the gym. I told you about the little t tennis elbow situation I had. Um, and you know, just regular stuff, my back with, with the snow and everything, but I'm feeling good to go back. So I'm gonna go back to the gym, get it working in. I'm gonna do some cardio and getting back in the gym. I got to. I saw some weight loss over the weekend when I was shoveling snow and I wanna keep that momentum going. So I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna work out hard and um, we're gonna see what we can do. I don't wanna sit still anymore. I wanna work out and I wanna work out hard. I really wanna get in there. I really wanna start losing this weight properly and um, getting what I need to get. February is approaching, that means March is approaching, then April, then May. I need to get this thing rolling because LDR is coming right in my face and I need to be ready for that. And although I've lost a good amount of weight since I've started, I haven't lost the amount of weight I wanted to, which is frustrating a little bit. However, I know it's coming. I know it's coming because I'm doing the work and I'm eating properly. So if you're on this weight loss journey with me and you hit a slump because of the snow or you hit any kind of slump for any reason, just get up, go out, and get started again it's that simple don't fall into the trap of I'll go tomorrow I'll go tomorrow I'll go tomorrow don't fall into that trap I'm not gonna fall into that trap only reason why I haven't gone is because I didn't want to further aggravate my back and my elbow so we're gonna do some gymming today we're gonna do some stairs today and all around we're just gonna have a good productive one. That's what we need today. A good productive one. Alright, come on with me. I'm about to get started driving. Alphas. I want to say this. The past couple of months have been a really interesting journey for me. And it's taught me a lot about myself. It's taught me a lot about what I'm capable of, what I can and can't do. And it's helping me stretch the boundaries of me, the boundaries of who I am, my personality, my strength, my knowledge, everything. And I'm prone to mistakes. I'm prone to mistakes. Sometimes I'm just going to make videos that you don't like, and that's okay. That's really okay. And sometimes I'm going to make videos you love. That's just being me and me finding myself in this entire sea of YouTubers. Like I told you before, I'm not doing this to be famous. I'm not doing this to make a lot of money. I'm doing this because I feel like it's necessary, not only for me, but for the people that need it. It just means so much and it, it, it just hit me, you know? I'm growing and in that growth, I'm gonna learn a lot. So my videos a month from now won't be the same videos that I've been doing for the past couple, three months. And my videos a year from now won't be the same videos I released this year. I'm gonna be ever evolving. So for a lot of you that are here from the beginning to see me evolve, you're gonna see a nice transformation and vice versa. I'm gonna see a nice transformation of you. It's gonna be a really interesting year, a really interesting year. A lot of learning, a lot of coping, a lot of um, struggles, a lot of everything. And like, I'm, like I said, man, it's, it, it's, it's exciting times and it's, it's genuine times and it's it's authentic and creative times like this this time and place right here right now 
is one of the most original and captivating times of my life. I feel free. Like, you have no idea. I feel free. I feel happy. I feel like I'm making a change. And that's really what matters, man. That's really what matters. I just wanted to share that with you. Hey, Alphas, what's up? It's nighttime. It is exactly 8.52 right now. Um, I did the stairs just like I told you I would. Went to the gym just like I said. Did some lifting. Did some cardio. Um, I actually ended up going lifting first during my lunch break. And then after work, I did a little bit of cardio. Then I came home. I actually am a huge collector of Invicta watches. I don't know if you guys realize that, but I always have an Invicta watch on my wrist. And I figured at the end of this video real quick, so I figured I'd do a really quick unboxing of the new Invicta watch I just purchased. So here it is, Invicta watch. So that is the box that the watch comes in. And in the box is a diving case. <sighs> Doing this with one hand. So, this is the diving case that comes with it. Perfect. Uh, and, I think this is my um, Excalibur. Ooh! Look at this. Let me bring it into the light. Ooh. Look at this. It's my Excalibur. All right, let me go ahead and um, take the plastic off, put it on. All right, so this is the Invicta watch. Meet Excalibur. Excalibur. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You like it? I love Invicta watches. Well, that's it. So look, I have a chicken Caesar salad that I just got. Um, I was gonna skip dinner, but Chris got on me a little bit about that. And I told you she gets on me whenever I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So I ended up going to the store and getting a quick salad. So I'm gonna eat it. There's no dressing at all. It's just a regular Cobb salad with chicken on top. Um, and that's it for the rest of the night. So, guys, live life. Life demands results. So what do your results say about you? Hmm?